Jimmy, we're getting ready to film this with Mike. So before we do it, let's grab some of the glass cleaner. I've got a couple little dots on there. I don't like to be a glass cleaner salesman, but this stuff looks really good. So here we go. Oh, just so this perfect view before we get started. There you go. That is it. Okay. Welcome, Fritz fam. This is ADG, Aquarium Design Group. One of the most special aquariums I've seen here at Aquarium Design Group is this Tanganyikan Cichlid Aquarium. And I brought in Mike Sinski, owner of Aquarium Design Group, to give us a walkthrough on this aquarium because it's so special and unique. Got it, thank you, Sean. So this is our Tanganyikan display here at Aquarium Design Group. We have the lights off in my office right now, but this actually designs this sitting space from my office space. All the rock and everything that you see in here was previously in one of our main displays in the middle of our retail store. Uh, some of you that are into aquascaping will maybe look at this. I kind of call it an Iwagumi. We don't see the term Iwagumi used very often when we're doing cichlid aquariums or other styles of aquascapes other than planted aquariums. Use this space for um, introducing a lot of our prospective clients to different styles of aquariums, whether it be a planted tank, a reef aquarium, hardscape, goldfish, whatever we're doing. In the aquarium here, and I have, and these are still some fairly um, young fish. They are not fully mature. Obviously, I'm standing in front of the aquarium, so they're gonna swim up like I'm feeding them as all of our fish in our aquariums get conditioned to us. But you can see this guy right here kind of flaring up a little bit that we'll see. And that is a type of calichromus. Here we'll have the dominant male, just getting really all fired up with color. And when he really gets going, it's spectacular. He's the alpha or the dominant male. There's some other males in here, but he kind of runs the show and runs the roost in here. So he'll court the females over there. Another one of my favorites, I'm gonna to refer to them all as my favorites, by the way, as I go through the list, uh, is the Julie de Chromis ornatus. I think they should have nicknamed that fish the bullet cichlid. Um, when you, there's a, a lot of different species of Julie de Chromis, and when you watch those fish or when you see uh, territorial disputes in the aquarium because they are African cichlids, they, they are territorial. When you watch these guys get either startled or moving through the water, and you can tell by the shape of their body, they will move through this rock like as if you just, if you fired a bullet through here and it had a magnetic force that was attaching to the rock, they just zoom in and out of every nook and cranny and crevice, and it's really amazing the Parasiprochromus. That's my favorite. Yeah, one. yeah, you can see those guys there with a little bit of that blue, the blue on the outside there. Uh, another interesting fish, this is a uh, Brevis, uh, Neolamprologus Brevis, but don't hold me to those Latin names. I'm certainly not an That's expert right. in that field, so feel, uh, you're welcome to call me out if I misannounce uh, mis anything. You know. No, thank you, Sean. Another really unique fish in here that when they're exhibiting spawning behavior is a family called Ciprochromus. So I've got a couple of different species in here. The guys with the yellow tail, some of the other ones are what they'll refer to as like a blue flash. Uh, when you see this aquarium or look at it, I'm, I'm uh, you know, there's just well composed and forethought of the rock layout. They're approaching the aquarium as a, an aquarium design element within the space. But here we put forth the attempt also to kind of make it a biotope and create this environment. And uh, it's one of those things too, like I say, when I bring clients in, I just really enjoy explaining that to them. Is it possible to have this as the aquarium collect eggs and then actually reproduce these cichlids? It is, it is. If your intention is to, um, is to raise fry and have fish spawning and raise those fry up, uh, I would recommend doing something where it'd be a little bit easier to remove the female from the aquarium. Mm -hmm. I've got a Cynodonis species in here, and I believe it's a Cynodonis petricola. So what they do is when another species of cichlid is spawning, they will detect the pheromones. They can come in there, uh, maybe eat some, if not all the eggs. They will deposit their eggs, fertilizer eggs, take off. The unsuspecting cichlid, or at least I assume they're unsuspecting, will then pick up those eggs and incubate the catfish eggs in their mouth and hold those and then release them out. Wow. So it's not uncommon in our canister filters sometimes, we're servicing canister filters on this aquarium, to have fry that are in that bottom layer, you know, that have made it, got uptaked into the strainer of the filter and have gotten to a certain size and we'll move those off into other aquariums. 
thing about the square mirror, or something that you notice right away, is how clear the water mm -hmm. is. It just makes you feel like you've got the ultimate filtration package on here. Mm -hmm. But as I've gone through ADG, and I'm not even afraid to, to blitz you with this or surprise you with this, uh, it's fairly simplistic filtration, yes. and you keep it very nice, clean, and organized. Yes. And so can we and Fritz Fam take a peek at what you've got running this aquarium with? Let's hope it's clean, Sean. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if not, we'll get a picture yeah. of another canister. Yeah. Mike has been nice enough to let us blitz him with this question. We're just doing a spot check, almost like a quality control or an inspection. Here. Yep, Sean, I'm, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm prepared for it. So, so this looks very simple. Really simple, and I yeah. want to preface this too. So this aquarium, we've been in this space now over 10 years, okay? So this aquarium and equipment has been here that long, and you're looking at a old school bio ball trickle filter there. Right. This aquarium could easily operate with just a couple of canister filters. Mm -hmm. um, we've got an Eheim 2262 that is packed with both biological and mechanical filtration. We do have an air pump that is plumbed through a bubble bulkhead in the bottom, but that is off. It's got an inline 300 watt heater on it also, mm -hmm. uh, but it's old school. This has been there for a while and you know, I, I'm not ashamed, you know, you kind of came in here and caught me, you opened it up and yeah. Um, but, but think about it. I mean, this is an easy filtration system. Yeah. It's very, it's very, uh, uh, I would say, unintimidating for Correct. a hobbyist Correct. or someone from Fritz Fam saying, yep. I want an aquarium like this. Yep. They must have the most amazing filtration under there. That's how they keep it so clean. And we really keep it simple. And a lot of it gets yeah. down to is really just knowing, you know, the proper filter media. This aquarium does get uh, one thing being here in uh, Houston, Texas, is our, our source water has a very high pH. It's very alkaline, so African cichlids love that. So this aquarium gets a 50% water change on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. um, they could go every two weeks, but that's one thing I definitely encourage, specifically with, uh, with African cichlids, is frequent water changes. They like that higher pH alkaline water. Uh, but going to back, it's kind of an old school. It's something anybody could do. You, yourself, and myself, we yep. have been building aquariums for over 20 years a yep. piece. You probably 30 Correct, yeah, longer, years. yeah. 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 Um, and we're used to having the filtration that we had and we mm -hmm. were able to accomplish this before. It's really pretty simple. That's one thing we really try and educate people on is just keeping it simple and manageable. All right. Well, this is a beautiful aquarium, as is the rest of your facility Thank here you. at ADG. I always enjoy coming to talk to you. I would like to, when I come down to Houston, always make a stop in here and focus on just one aquarium and pick your brain on how it was done and how do you take care of it. You so, got it. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Sean. Fritz Appreciate Fam. it very much. If you want to keep up with uh, Aquarium Design Group and look at some of their other builds, definitely go to the Aquarium Design Group social media. I believe they're on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, they have a YouTube page. So go and check that out. Tell me in the comments what you'd like to see next. Until then, snailed it.